Vernon Dwayne. Before you came along, it was just me and him. We were a team. And then you swooped in with your whorish ways, and now my little boy doesn't have a father. She flipped around another frame of this chocolate little baby with eyes that sparkled. And instead of taking care of your own fuck-ups, you decided to come bother me, his wife, with some bullshit you and he concocted while he was still married to me. Are you fucking serious? Kiara was getting heated now. When she said it like that, the shit sounded horrible. But I know in reality, that wasn't the deal. She just needed to sign the apprentice release form. It didn't require all this dramatic-ass show-and-tell she was hollering about. I was, I was just hoping... I was hoping it was you that died and not him. How about that? Main chick versus side bitch. Arian. I took her comment and swallowed it. I just came here. I started. To my job, Kiara snapped. You came to my job for what exactly? I had rehearsed this a million times, and now I hadn't been here for more than five minutes, and things were already turning to shit. Look, if you let me explain, I tried. You have five minutes. I watched Kira with her diamond-encrusted Rolex, Louboutin heels, and in her business suit like she was the shit. Well, look... I'm here because I started to explain again. This was the last place I wanted to be, but I had no choice. I tried to find the words, the rehearsed reasoning for why I was here, asking for her help today. I had originally wanted to tell her that I was sorry again. I hoped that she was doing well, and I wanted to know how the baby was doing, but all of those words were lost on me. I'm waiting, she pushed. Kiara didn't make this shit easy, but I went ahead and tried to explain. Well, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but me and Dwayne had this understanding. I could see her face change immediately. It had been three years, and for me, it felt like yesterday. I missed him every single minute, but mentioning him looked like it was rubbing her the wrong way already. Oh, yeah, I know. You and my deceased husband had a few understandings. Kiara snapped back. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. I'm sorry, I mean, my license with the state. I tried to clarify. He was training me as his apprentice. (laughs) Apprentice? You mean like a dick-sucking apprentice? Excuse me? Excuse me? I shot back. Why are you here, ma'am? Kira asked. I stared at her for a second. I imagined myself jumping over this desk and slapping her ass against the wall. The bitch wasn't listening to shit I was saying. I told you, Dwayne and I, look, I'm gonna need you to cease and desist with saying his name, okay? Kiara sent me a jab. Look, I'm not here to start any trouble. I just need you to sign something. I pulled out the paper and slid it onto her desk, but her laugh echoed through me. I'm still signed on as an apprentice of your business. Dwayne had me signed on as their apprentice. The state has these weird rules when it comes to things like this. If you sign up to be an apprentice to get your hair license, then you have to finish that program or give just cause why you did not finish. My causes happen to include fucking the owner, getting pregnant by said owner, having a miscarriage, and then to top it all off, the owner was killed. I just need you to sign this, I stressed. I needed to be out of the program or show that I finished, and if I couldn't be signed out, I had no other choice but to spend money and time to go back to school. That was time I didn't have. Just sign? Do you know where you are, girl? This is a law firm, Kiara said. Do I look like a person that just signs things? She looked at me, over the top of some skinny wire-rimmed glasses. You know, the ones like your grandma wears? Damn, she was a corny, no style having ass bitch. All that money and she still didn't know how to accessorize and put shit together. That's why Dwayne was fucking me. He was just with this bitch for her money. He was with me because of my growth and my potential. Not to mention I was probably a better fuck anyway. A blind man could see that I was going places, but Dwayne was unfortunately just too pussy hungry to harness my potential. 
So let me get this straight, Kiara said, starting to smile. You want me to sign this paper saying you completed an apprentice program at my shop. It made my skin crawl when she said my shop. I just hated it, but I swallowed my pride. Yeah, that's basically it. I just need that so I can officially get my license. You see, I'm starting my own shop and getting my daughter 10 grand. Kiara cut me off. What? That's how much my signature is worth, honey. 10 grand, Kiara said smugly. This bitch had to be sick or talking in another language. If you want me to sign this, then that's what I'll need, Kiara went on. Oh, and then cash. I don't need you going back to your old criminal ways and trying to bounce a check on me, okay? It was official. I wanted to whoop her ass so badly, but right now I couldn't move. I was stuck on her face, the smug grin and devilish arch of her drawn-on fake-ass eyebrows. I wanted to smack that look right off her face. I don't think you understand, I tried to further explain. You see, this was something between me and Dwayne. It's really not a big deal. No. I don't think you understand. Dwayne was my world. She opened her desk drawer to reveal a picture of her and Dwayne. Before you came along, it was just me and him. We were a team. And then you swooped in with your whorish ways. And now my little boy doesn't have a father. She flipped around another frame of this chocolate little baby with eyes that sparkled. And instead of taking care of your own fuck-ups, you decided to come bother me, his wife, with some bullshit you and he concocted while he was still married to me. Are you fucking serious? Kiara was getting heated now. When she said it like that, the shit sounded horrible. But I know in reality, that wasn't the deal. She just needed to sign the apprentice release form. It didn't require all this dramatic-ass show-and-tell she was hollering about. I was, I was just hoping... I was hoping it was you that died and not him. How about that? So you wishing death on me now? I wish death on any bitch that tried to break up my home. Kiara shouted. She threw the paper back at me. I felt hands on my shoulders. Ma'am, is there a problem? A pair of rent cops were standing over me like they wanted to pull my black ass out of this office. I felt all of my days in prison come shooting back to me. All those days of listening to somebody tell me when and where to go. Get your fucking hands off me, I yelped. Jake, get get her out of here. Get her out. She pointed to the door, and I want to take that same arm, twist it around, and stick her finger right up her ass. I'm going to see you again, Kiara, I said as I was dragged off. You raggedy-ass bitch. I spit on the floor. That's why Dwayne fucked with me. You can never be the woman I am. I really didn't want to be like this, making a scene in front of all these people, but this bitch had left me no choice. Hey, wait, make her take this with her, Kiara added. She shoved my paper towards me as security walked me out. Back by her receptionist's desk, I noticed a man who was so fine, I suddenly felt weak in the knees. I stopped and stared at him, from his chocolate skin to his stone-like obsidian eyes. It was like he stole my soul in that instant. Come on, ma'am, keep walking, the officers insisted. They pushed me like I was a prisoner, but I locked eye contact with that man and then looked away. Baby, what are you doing here? Turning back, I saw Kiara with her arm around the same man, kissing him on the cheek. The way she leaned in and kissed him, I knew that had to be her man. Now take her down to the bottom level and see that she gets out. One of the guards said to another guard that was waiting for me at the elevator. As I was escorted down to level one and made my way outside, I didn't say a word. The guards gave me instructions to never come back. I snatched my document and walked out with a new mission as I strolled down the steps to call my bestie. Latrice, girl, you'll never believe what happened. Did she sign it, girl? Hell no. Damn, man, Latrice said. I thought for sure she was signing since that bitch was singing Kumbaya at the cemetery. Girl, fuck that now. I responded. I was on a new mission. What you mean, fuck that? You gotta get your license. Nah, I'm about to do something even better, I told her. Like what? Latrice asked. I smiled as I walked to my car trying to formulate the shit in my own brain. You know that dude that does the promotions at Bar Olive? I said. 
I knew Chalk could drop from somewhere, but it took me a second to figure out why he was so familiar. Yeah, you mean the fine chocolate one, right? Yep, that's the one. Okay, so what does he have to do with anything? I wanted to laugh at her like the bitch laughed at me in there, but I held out. Because that's Kiera's new man. Wait, what? And I'm about to steal his ass, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> in jail, I learned a lot of shit. A whole lot. And above all, I learned you have to respect yourself at all times. That means you and everything around you. And today, Kiera violated that rule. She made the fatal mistake of showing her card. And now it's time that I made my move with her man again. <laughs>